Hello there. <laughs> okay, hi guys, and welcome to DIY Sundays with Bulls, my very first episode on YouTube. I hope you guys will enjoy the DIYs project that I will be sharing with you guys. Firstly, let me introduce myself. I am Bulelwa Benjiwe, and a bit I of am background about myself. I am not a professional DIYer, if you, you get those. I'm not sure if you get those, but I think you do get those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm not. I am not a professional DIYer. I'm um, just someone that has been working from home for the past two years. And I finally decided that because I've got time, especially during the weekends, that I can um, do some DIYs for myself and decorate my house. And I eventually finished my mood board because it took me a long time to do my mood board. Just to, to see what kind of colors am I into, what do I love, what, do I, why don't, what don't I love. And I'm, I was happy. So for the very first DIY for today, I will be taking you guys through to doing my DIY textured canvas as you can see behind me. This was my very first DIY. So I had to go and buy everything and take everything from the hamster's garage because he has a lot of things in his garage. So I had to take a lot of things from, from, from him and then to, to also make sure that I do my canvas. I hope you guys enjoy it because this was inspired by a video that I watched from Kahi M, a one of the South African YouTubers. And I was like, Mm, I've got an old picture there, a canvas picture that I can convert. So I did convert and I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, so we're going to need some wood primer. As you can see, I bought a pink one and then a Dulux uh, gloss enamel, brilliant white. And a polyfiller, some may call it a crack filler. It's an interior crack filler. And I've got obviously some old brushes that I've used before, a scapula, and just something to make some design on my canvas. And then I had this old uh, canvas picture that I took, I think it was around 2011 i was very young 2010 2011 you see it's old so i don't hang it anymore so it's been sitting there in the garage so i'm gonna use it for today's and of course some water just to mix the polyfiller i'm just gonna go in with the cloth just to take off some dust unfortunately the rain started pouring at this time so we had to move to the garage and there you can see the hub staff asked him to mix the polyfiller for me while I do the painting. And as you can see, um, I will start to go in with the primer just to mark off that black color uh, from the canvas. Okay, now at this point, I'm getting a lecture from the hamster as to how to bright, to paint. <laughs> this is my first time painting. <laughs> so yeah, he's giving me a lecture there. I'm finished uh, going in with the primer. I've done it on both, all four sides and on top. And now I'm gonna go in with the mask tape on the side as I want the smooth the area on the side to be smooth and not have the um, textured which is done by the polyfiller so I'm just gonna put it around um, the canvas and of course this is done when the uh, wood primer is dry so I had to leave it 
for um, I think it was about one and a half two hours okay. and then uh, I went in with the mask tape and then um, on the side I'm trying to measure there as you can see um, so that the sides can can at least be more or less the same size uh, yeah but it's easier to do it with a, um, a mask tape you can, say. You can do it um, the, 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 your texture to be at the end of the mask it doesn't matter I, I've seen some people do it do it up until the end but I just want that smooth um, side around the whole texture and now that's the polyfiller that's mixed I've asked him to do it very rough because I want that uh, rough uh, texture on my um, canvas just gonna pour it in the middle so that I can go from the middle to the outside of the canvas just pour it there And I will use this, what do you call it? A scapula. Oh, what's that? I think it is a scapula. Um, just to move it to the sides, as you can see. And, of course, to make those 3D, <laughs> if you can call them that. <laughs> yeah. My arm was beginning to be sore here, but hey, it was my idea. And now you can see here, I'm just doing it from the side, making it smooth. It's up to you how you want to do it, but I've decided to just do it the hide it. And then um, after this, I started doing some lines on it. As you can see, just rough lines around with the polyfiller and it came out perfect it is now after a few days and as you can see the canvas has dried out I think it was about two days because I couldn't have, I didn't have time to go and paint it but as you can see all the patterns that I want and also on the sides, everything is dry. I'm happy. Now, the first thing that I'm gonna do is to remove the mask tape from the side, from the side so that we can achieve that uh, smooth sides of the canvas. As you can see, it's, um, it's I'm removing it very nicely so that I don't uh, interfere with the prick uh, filler on the side and I'm cleaning the side so that we don't have any um, on the prick fillers on the sides and we have to be very very careful uh, because some of the of the prick filler is just too hard so I made sure that I do it very carefully Okay, now we're gonna start to paint. Um, painting it with that white, brilliant white Dulux gloss enamel paint. Um, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, and start with painting it. Ooh, it's, so it's very nice, moist. very moist. <laughs> and I'm also gonna go in on the sides of the paint, in the smooth paint. Um, it's very difficult to paint, so you must be, uh, be very patient and um, make sure that you put the paint inside all the um, holes in the paint. Okay, because in the first when I first started with the painting, I had a lot of paint, so the hamster is busy um, evening out the paint and also absorbing the, the excess paint that was there with a sponge brush i don't know if you call it a sponge brush but that's what i call it so yeah <laughs> so that it can absorb that paint and there we are ladies and gentlemen my canvas it's so beautiful it came out beautiful 
for my first DIY this was brilliant very shiny the way that I wanted it I'm so in love with it and you can't even see that this was ever a picture of me with a black background I love it and I had to find of course um, a corner in my house and this is how it came out and this is why, how I've designed it because we're moving soon so I didn't want to put in any nails on the wall or anything so I just put it there in the corner until we move to our new house where I would find a perfect place for it on the wall thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed my DIY